Hello YouTube, if you own an Amiga, a C64 or an Atari back in the day, you may have owned one of these, or at the very least know what it is. Yep, it's a Competition Pro joystick, or like me and my friend used to refer to it as the He-Man joystick. That's because when they're new, they're ridiculously stiff, but once that stiffness wears off, they are very good joysticks. This is my second Competition Pro joystick. The first one I got from Gordon Harwood's bundled with my Amiga 500. This one I got with my Amiga 1200 desktop dynamite pack, again from Gordon Harwood's in Derbyshire. But it's always been completely unplayable. I don't know whether I got a bad joystick or I didn't play enough games back in the day, but it's more likely to be the former. It's been hidden away for over 20 years and I thought I'd try and get it to loosen up. I wish I could take credit for the solution, but the truth is I had to do a Google search on how to loosen up a Competition Pro joystick. I came across a very good solution and I thought I'll share my experience about this. I've put the link to the original forum post in the video description for you, just in case you want to refer to that. Now the cause of the stiffness is the rubber ring that holds the shaft of this joystick. That rubber ring needs to be softened up. And there's a couple of ways to do that. You can either soak it in slip and spray, which you can buy from DIY stores, or you can use something called petroleum jelly. I didn't even actually know what petroleum jelly is until I actually did a bit of research. It's actually a main ingredient found in Vaseline. But I didn't actually have any Vaseline in the house, so I thought, hmm, what else could I use? Uh, I had to do a Google search on what petroleum jelly actually was. And I found a Wikipedia article and to my surprise, another name for petroleum jelly is white paraffin. That, I did know what it was because I've seen it in the ingredients list for E45. So, I proceeded to take this apart. Very easy, you just unscrew the bottom, take off the base. You then have to remove the retaining ring. It's a C-shaped metal bit on the bottom of the shaft. It took me a while to actually wiggle that off, but once you get the retaining ring off, the rest of the joystick just falls apart. And you can slide the shaft out. But you may have to push out the rubber ring. Once you've got hold of your rubber ring, you can soak it in your silicon spray or petroleum jelly slash soft white paraffin. I just put it all in a plastic bag, put it in a plastic container and put it on the windowsill. I checked on that every day just to see how soft it is. The length of time you keep the rubber ring soaked is going to be dependent upon how hard or soft it was originally. I just checked every 24 hours and after four days, I was satisfied. I gave it a wash, dried it off for 24 hours and reassembled the joystick. It is a lot more smoother than it was originally. I've tested it out with Sensible World of Soccer, Token 2, and admittedly, it's still a little bit stiff, so I might give it another go, but it's a vast improvement compared to what it was like before. I do hope this helps if you have a Competition Pro joystick yourself which you want to loosen up. And if it did help, please like and subscribe. See you soon.